13 volts, that's good. Right, so first of all, let's just check the voltage of the battery on its own. Thirteen volts. That's good. Next, we're going to turn on the engine and get it to five thousand. I'm going to need some help for this from the wife. Okay, so So grabbing our trust, uh, trusty Honda 5 lead Haynes manual, let's have a look at that result, try to hold it arm length. We're looking now for a stator coil resistance of 0, 0.1 to 0, 0.3 ohms on all three phases. Okay. Let's just check to see what resistance we've got in the actual cables itself. So I think we've got a resistance of 5. So whatever it is, minus five. Let's go jam it in. And eight. 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 Next we're going to do a dynamic test with testing the AC voltage. So it should be in theory slightly more accurate on the status and the functionality of the state hall. Let's put it onto the AC. Let's go to 200. We're going to do exactly the same but this time with the engine running. All seems to check out. And the last thing we're going to do, just to be really sure, is a grounding test from the stator, just to see that there's no leakage um, through um, cables grounding where they shouldn't ground, etc. etc. So I've put it on the little alarm here, and what I should get when I check the three phases is just that no reading at all. If I do get a reading, which means there is a problem it will give me this alarm. So let's give that a go. So for this, to check that the wires, the insulated wires are fine, I'm gonna attach this to the negative, and then I'm gonna try it. Good, good, good. So, stator's fine, everything checks out gets hot maybe it's just this here I will upgrade as many people have said I, sh I think I made a mistake getting this but okay uh, so let's get it back on the road another test ride cuz I've been living life right like I could just die any minute don't worry.